In this video, we will show you how to use the basic function of the universal laser cutter. Before you start, it is extremely important that you observe all safety rules and regulation with regards to Fab Lab safety. This includes, but not limited to, wearing covered footwear at all times. Long hair must be tied up neatly. Do not wear any loose jewelry or accessories. Do not use handheld devices while operating the machine. While operating the machine, you must stay within the yellow box and report any sighting of fire to the TSO immediately. The machine uses laser to burn and cut your material. It poses risk of fire. Please take extra caution. Failure to comply with our safety rules will result in debarment to the lab. Draw out the material from the TSO. Place it in the laser cutter. Check that the red emergency switch is off. Turn the key to power on the laser cutter. From the desktop, double click on the Coral Draw icon to launch the software. Create a new document in Coral Draw. Import your DXF file into the document. Click to place the drawing onto the document. Zoom in to see your imported drawing. You can also use the mouse scroll button to zoom in and out. If you have more drawings to be laser cut on the same material, you can continue to import more files into the document. Please ensure there is a gap of minimum 5 mm between the imported drawings. The laser cutter will cut or engrave based on the colors of your drawing. To cut through the material, the color of line must be red and the thickness must be hairline. For engraving, set the color of the engraved object to be black. Beside DXF file, you can also import many other files, like JPEG and PDF. Just make sure you set the correct color and thickness in Corel Draw. Let's set the color for our object. We will set red color to cut the rectangle. And set black color for the wording to be engraved. Click and hold the left mouse button to select the entire drawing. We need to deselect the wordings. Hold the shift key and left mouse button to deselect. With a rectangle selected, make sure that line thickness is set to hairline. To set the rectangle color to red, right click on the red in the color panel. Next, select the Singapore Polytechnic wordings. Right click on the black color to set the wordings to black. With the correct color and thickness, click print to send our drawing to the laser cutter for printing, or in another word, engraving and cutting. Double click the universal icon on the taskbar to view the sent print job. This is a print preview of your job that you have sent. Different material have different settings for cutting and engraving. We need to load the correct setting for the material that we are using. Click load and select the setting for your material. Then click apply and OK to use the setting. Approach the TSO if you cannot find setting for your material. The color setting refers to the color in your drawings. Raster slash vector mode means engraving. Vector mode refers to cutting. Power refers to strength of a laser beam. Higher power cuts deeper, but may result in burn marks. Lower power will cuts shallower, but it may requires more passes to cut through. Never set the power to be more than 70%. 
This will reduce the lifespan of the laser head. Speed set how fast the laser head moves while cutting. Setting higher speed save time, burns shallower. Lower speed increase time, burn deeper. Pulses per inch sets how many laser pulses per inch. Higher PPI increases burning and produce finer details at slow speed. Lower PPI reduces burning, but reduce image details. As a reference, this is the current setting for 3mm acrylic material. Now, let's set the exact location on the material to cut our object. The focus view tool moves the laser head to the click location. The relocate view tool moves the object to our desired cutting location. Click on the focus view icon. Next, click on the position on the material where you want to position the laser head. The laser head will move to that location. Click on the relocate view tool. The tool allows you change the cutting location of your object on the material. Click on one of the corners. Click and hold to move the object. You can also click on to pointer to move the selected corner to the current laser head location. With the cover of laser cutter remains opened, click play to see a preview cut on the material. When the cover is opened, the red beam preview the movement of the laser on the material when it is cutting or engraving. There is no actual cutting or engraving during the preview. Close the cover if you are happy with the preview. Click play again to start the actual cutting and engraving. The machine will start engraving and cutting the material using laser. Reminder. You must stay within the yellow box during the actual cutting. Watch out for fire. Engraving is now completed. The laser will proceed with cutting the rectangle. After the cutting completes, wait for at least 10 seconds before opening the cover. This is to allow the burn smell to be extracted into the ventilation system. Use the masking tape to test if the cutting is successful. If the object is not cut through, you have to run the cut again. Congratulations! You have successfully done your first laser cutting.